Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Samba. Samba is being used to share files and folders with all the other computers on your network. That's the idea. And private home network, not in a business infrastructure or anything, no enterprise structures, but just at home. What's it for? You want to share data from your computer with all the others on your network, brother, sisters, father, mother. You want to have, you share one folder, one particular folder, anything you drop in there, the others can get to it, can write to it, read and write to it. That's the idea. So they can put something there as well. So you can have a share folder. That's why we call the folder shared. So this place is going to be the platform to uh, exchange files, data from computer A to computer B. In this context, we're gonna talk about a Samba server and a desktop, an other computer, okay? Now, setting this, ever, setting this up for the tutorial, what did I do? I need to have two things. I need to have a Samba server. A computer in my network needs to become a Samba server. And the other one, the desktop I will get with my desktop to the Samba server and get the information or exchange information even. So the idea is as follows. We are at this point in time learning about Plasma and making uh, tutorials in the near future. So we are on Linux B Plasma at this point in time and it does not matter what desktop you're on. It does not even matter what Linux distribution you're on. Samba is Samba. Okay. Arc Linux B Plasma is going to become my Samba server. Okay. So this one is my server. I have something else ready from the previous tutorial. I had this virtual machine installed, then Arc Linux on it, and it's ready to start. And we can use it to, well, to become this desktop that we need to have. We need to have a desktop to go to the Plasma server. All right. So that's the VMware desktop and this is Plasma. What do we need to do? Of first maybe tell what the game is because some of the people probably react, hey, this is not technical. Well, that's the idea. The idea is to be non-technical, very easy, just for the home to share between your own computers, two computers of your own, or sisters or uh, father, mother, etc. Just one folder to have read and write access for those permitted, of course. Give one person access to the folder with a password and we will not make a new user account for Samba, just in my case, Eric. So that's the procedure. This is as small as it gets and there is no faster way than these things, I think. Three lines, that's what we need to do. We need to create a directory in your home directory with the name shared. Let's move this away. So we need to be on the Plasma. Plasma is going to be the Samba server, fine. I'm on Plasma because I'm opening with Dolphin. Dolphin is a file manager in Plasma, Tunar in XFCE, Nautilus, Gnome, Cinnamon, has Nemo, etc. Then we need to go to a home directory and right mouse click, create new folder. And we have to type it like this, capital letters, shared. That's the deal. That's why you have to, it's, you'll see later why it has to be capital. So what I've done is number one, line one, create a directory in your home directory. Fine. Delete all the semicolons at the bottom of etc samba smb.conf. Okay. Somewhere on your system, it says samba. And there is a samba conf. This is the short version, so I will not talk about this next one. I'm going to open it with Kate. Make it a little bit bigger. Scroll the way down. 
and they say you have to delete all the semicolons. So, delete it, save. All the semicolons are gone. Now you see why we need to have a capital letter here, shared, because I said in the configuration of Samba, let's take from path home Eric shared. Everything is explained here. And unless your name is Eric with a K, you can leave this and otherwise you need to change it to whatever name, login name you have, whatever folder name you have there. Okay. Of course, I can leave it as it is. Quit. This was line two. Add yourself as user to Samba and set a password for access. Okay. So, right mouse click. No, control T, in my case. I'm gonna tell him to be sudo and give me or add Eric. So you need to type here the name of your login. Doesn't mean you have to give your root password away. It means you give a person with the name Eric and otherwise we need to create another username which I don't want to do because I want to exchange from computer 1 to computer 2 myself. Me, Eric, exchanging files. But even if you want to exchange with brothers and sisters and father and mothers, it doesn't matter because you say add this to Samba and then you type your normal password on of your system. But then he asks a Samba password and this can be different, can be totally different than, than your Eric or your root account or it can be as simple as one, two, three. I mean, if it's for parents or something, I'll give you a simple password so you can get to the folder. So this password is not the same as your normal password when you update stuff, when you install stuff, it's different. Okay, so you can change, you can use another password here. I'm gonna take the same since I'm changing myself here, uh, inter interchanging data with myself. Okay. That been done, these three things have all been done. The only thing that's now to be done is to check it out. All right, so let's move everything out of the way. Let's get our VM workstation to screen two. Start up this guest operating system. Control Alt Return was already full screen. So I'm going to navigate in my what am I going to do in the picture we're actually booting on this one this is VMware this is Arco Linux and I'm now going to look on my network where is this Samba server and it has to be this Arco Linux B Plasma that's going to be the Samba server okay all right we've booted and we go to Tunar, browse network. We see my complete network with my iMac there and Article Linux, the ISO builder. So with another computer where I build my ISOs on. This is the one, that's the Samba server. And this is this machine. How do I know that? Control T. So this computer in my virtual machine here is called Article Linux. Any computer has the possibility, any Arco Linux has the possibility to become a Samba, but it's not. You see, there's nothing here. So nothing, there is no Samba running on the VMware machine. But there should be an Arco Linux B. So when we click on here, we see a folder called shared. Let's open Dolphin, open with Dolphin, home, shared. Here we have the same folder on the Dolphin. This thing is the Samba server, all right? And when we click it open here, he says, hey, who are you? Anonymous, connect. No, 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 doesn't work like that. So double click again, registered, registered user, Eric, yeah, password, Eric. And now it's up to you to decide, huh? forget password immediately. Hmm? Remember password until you log out. 
or remember forever. So you give this login and this password to the person in your house, yeah, people you trust, and you say connect. And there you are. So we are now connected to Arco Linux B dot local. We're on the Samba server. Well, we can, the only way to know for sure is that we create a new folder and we say that this folder contains all my music. Come and get it. And then you move this out of the way. You reload. Oh yeah, all the music is available. I can go get it. The same applies. Uh, right. If I do this again, right mouse click and I'm going to create the videos. Or maybe another idea. Maybe this person here says, I'm going to share you my photos. So this Arco Linux person, this person here has his own file manager, his own photos and says, look, I'm going to give you my photos. He can write on photos. He can write on the Arco Linux B, the Samba server. He can, he has permission, read and write. And now we can say, okay, I'm gonna drop all my pictures that I have. My pictures, gonna drop them, copy, paste them, copy. I'm gonna po copy them into the photos, right mouse click, paste, and then brrr, everything gets copy paste over. And we see here in the photos, all the pictures. So that's how easy it is to set everything up. It's not that difficult. I rather not use any of these um, right mouse clicky things and then share because you never trust can trust them what they do. It's as simple as changing three things and you have a folder in which you can uh, share the data with the users at home. They can read and they can write. So it's just um, enough for an at home uh, usage let's say what i normally do is not set everything up that's another uh, possibility that's just syncing with um, cloud services with Dropbox, with uh, google drive you put something up there go to the other computer and it's already synced with these sync services like InSync. There are many possibilities. I've just made other tutorials to share between the host and the guests on VirtualBox and on VMware. It's another way. But this one, Samba, is over the network. It can be 30 meters away. It, it will still work. Samba is going to uh, provide the service to share uh, files over your personal network. Okay, if there are any issues, you know where to go. ArchWiki, lots of information there, but it's intention here is to be quick easy and simple all right cheers